some of the influences I've had in my career uh, have been definitely my family and my parents. They were very, very active in sports. Uh, my mom actually started organized girls softball when I was nine years old. At that point, we had no sports organized for girls. And several of my friends and I um, benefited from that. I was lucky enough to get a softball scholarship at Western, and that started my career where I was uh, working with Fran Ebert. Uh, the legend, Pat Ashby, had a major influence on my career. Um, and then, of course, I had a lot of uh, great coaches throughout my career. In high school, I had probably one of the best high school volleyball coaches, Jack Magelson, who was a taskmaster, very much a disciplinarian, and, and really pushed hard work. And that was instrumental in us at Portage Northern winning the state championship my senior year. Several unbelievable coaches in Comstock and administrators. First and foremost, Bob Hammett, uh, such a class act. Um, I have ad administrators like Fred Smith, our, our athletic director, uh, Justin Ansel, Jay Stickle, and then of course coaches that I've coached with on staff, Rich Bailey, who's receiving this award, such a class act, Tim Cashin, John Holmes, coaching against Wilma Wilson. We always had some great battles um, and we were so competitive. It was fun to play against South Haven. We had great games. Gary Sprague from uh, Gull Lake. We had some great uh, softball games there. In tennis, uh, Gary Ellis was fantastic to learn from. And John Manning, he was uh, wonderful to learn from because he was a great varsity tennis coach. And it was great for us to play against these type of individuals. So I learned a lot from them. You know, with Jack Magelson, um, I decided to transfer from Hackett to Portage Northern as I sat in the stands when I was a sophomore at Hackett watching him coach. Um, you know, and it was the best thing I ever did. He was unbelievable. I remember when we won the state championship, I sat underneath the net and uh, couldn't believe that we had won the state championship, but it was, it was Jack and his uh, um, hardworking attitude and the way that he pushed us that was such an influence in my career for sure. We had a triple play uh, against Gull Lake uh, that was a huge uh, play for us. And then we weren't supposed to beat Gull Lake in a, the districts in 1991, and we beat them, and that was huge because we went on to um, obviously play Lakeshore and beat Lakeshore, and then go to the regionals where we played uh, Wayland and beat Wayland on the regional to go to the Sweet 16 against uh, Ovid or in Ovid LC. And that was uh, huge. Funny story, again, with Joe Nilo, he and I were coaching, and we were trying to figure out a way to get the girls to extend their arms and release their hands through to hit shots. Um, I had a couple girls on the team that were hitting balls to right field, just couldn't get them to hit up the middle or down third baseline, pull the ball. And so I came up with the idea of being innovative to extend and throw the bat. And so we were had the girls on one side of the backstop, and I didn't know, but Joe had taken his daughter, Chris, our star pitcher, on the other side, and he was going to work with her in pitching because we had a big game the next day. So I had one of my girls throw the bat. I have no idea how it happened, but it went through the backstop, a fence, a small hole through the backstop, hit Chris right in the head, put a huge gash to her head, blood everywhere. And I thought it was the worst thing ever. Couldn't believe it happened. But Joe takes her to Borges Hospital, since we're right by Borges, stitches her up, brings her back to practice within about a half an hour and she's out there throwing, throws the next day and we win the game. So it was a crazy, crazy thing. Gotta watch out for the drills, for sure. Best advice I have and I've received for young coaches is to always remember little eyes are watching you. Um, that will help you to keep calm and not uh, you know, blow up although I did that early on in my career a few times, but learning that and remembering those types of things will definitely make a difference for you. Secondly, uh, to be a student of the game, I recently watched Mike Krzyzewski on the Icons of Coaching, and he talked about the fact that he's a student of the game and constantly wants to learn, and that helps to keep him young, keeps him enthusiastic, and keeps him passionate about what he does. Uh, lastly, my, another piece of advice would be to officiate. Um, when I became a volleyball official, I saw it from a different side. It helps you to really appreciate officials and uh, appreciate what they do and what they bring to the game, and it helps you to be more of a professional in learning how to work with officials. 
you know, I've been to the awards banquets before and seen recipients, and so um, I was just real excited and happy to have the award on behalf of Comstock.